Please note, we would like to make it very clear, we are totally against the form of discipline described in the articles and accounts being used on minors and non-consenting adults. Although some of these accounts are fictional, and others may be an exaggerated reality, none of them are too far from the truth of what really happened back in those days. A mother's paddle in the 1940s. In the late 1940s, it was common practice for parents to punish their offspring with spanking. However, I reached a certain age in my formative years realizing I had never had one. It appeared that all my friends spent many a time having their bottoms smacked over their respective parents' laps. However, it appeared that all I got was my privileges revoked for a period of time. I used to inform my friends that my mother does not smack me. One Saturday during the summer two friends and I went to the local movie and stayed there for over five hours. On the walk home, both my friends were moaning that they were going to get it good when they got home. As we rounded the corner both my friends' mothers were sitting on the front steps of our apartment houses. My friends started to cry as we got closer. Each mom reached out, grabbed their son by the arm, or, in my case, by the ear, and marched us upstairs. Bobby lived on the second floor. I was on the third and Irwin was on the fourth. As we passed the second floor, Bobby's mom told my mother. I will send it up to you with Rose, Bobby's younger sister, as soon as I finish with him. By now I was beginning to be more than concerned, as I knew what was about to happen on the floors above and below. My mother marched me to my bedroom and ordered me into my pyjamas. She said, go to the bathroom, come back to your room and wait for me. I then heard the noise from below, Bobby was getting it good. After a while, the noise stopped, and then our front doorbell rang. My mother said hello to Rose and thanked her. I was called to the living room. A kitchen chair had been placed in the centre of the room. My mother was standing next to it, with a leather paddle that I had seen in a shoemaker's repair shop window down the street. Bobby's mom had sent it up with Rose. My mom called me to her. I backed away, but she came after me and gave me a blow with the paddle on my thinly covered rear. I then was dragged to the chair and placed over her knees. The first blow sent shockwaves through me and was followed by another thirty or so. My rear was ablaze. I was then sent to the wall and told to stand there for fifteen minutes. Mom said she was not finished, the first spanking was for the years she had not spanked. After fifteen minutes, she repeated the punishment, this time giving me about twenty spanks. The next day, we went shopping at the shoemakers for our own paddle. It was put to use that day, and at least once or twice a week during the rest of my formative years.